Hey, what's up, guys? I told you I would order the Adafruit sensor, and I did. That's it there. Let's uh, zoom in so we can have a better look. Okay, you just scared the crap out of me, Alexa. Thank you. All right, this is the Adafruit TCS34725 RGB sensor. And you can see the little sensor right there. We've got a nice bright white LED and the supporting hardware around it, including a 3.3 uh, volt regulator. So you can power this from 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Works very nicely. So this is an I squared C device. As you can see here, we have SDA and SCL, and they of course go to A4 and A5. Otherwise, all it needs is a power and a ground, which we're getting off from our Arduino. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read a color value and do our best to attempt to turn it into a value on this RGB LED. Now this is a common cathode, most of them are common cathode. And if we come in here you can see this is our red pin, that's our common ground, green and blue. Now you want to put resistors on these pins. I'm using 1K resistors so these aren't too bright. Because I don't have a 2K resistor on the green I'm using two 1K resistors. The green is the brightest color. You don't want it to overpower everything. And those go to pins. Red goes to pin three. Green goes to pin five. And blue goes to pin six. The reason we're doing that, those are PWM pins. You can see the squiggles there because we need to output analog values to them. And that's really all there is to the hardware setup here. Let's go take a look at the code. Okay, here we go. This is the code for the Adafruit TCS34725 RGB sensor. And I have adapted almost all of this code from the original by Adafruit. So we're going to need to include two libraries, the wire library for I2C and the Adafruit TCS34725 to talk to the sensor. Now, for our LED, we're going to need three pins. They have to be PWM pins. So you can pick whatever you want. I pick three, five, and six. That'll work. Now, if you're using a common anode LED, which is kind of rare, most of them you'll find are common cathode. But if you're using a common anode, set that to true. Otherwise, leave it at false. Next, we're going to use the gamma table. It's a byte type variable. We'll get into that more later. Then we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit TCS34725 called TCS. And we'll use these values here, which I'm not really going to get into. Now our setup, our serial began at 9600. You could put it wherever you want. A nice little happy message to get started. Now, if the sensor starts correctly, so if TCS begins, then it's going to print out a nice little message sensor found. If else, if it doesn't start correctly, it's going to say no sensor found. And the program will stop. Next, we need to set those pins for outputs. If we don't set them for outputs, nothing good will happen. And then we have this little gamma thing here. And this is going to convert those color values into more human eyeball readable values okay then we're going to come down here to our loop we're going to create some variables called clear red green and blue and we're going to set our interrupt to false and turn on the led and we're going to wait 60 milliseconds then we're going to do tcs get raw data we'll read the red we'll read the green we'll read the blue and we'll read the clear values then we'll turn off the LED and we'll print out those values. Then we're going to change them into some hex code using these values you see here and our gamma table. Then all we have to do is turn on our RGB LED 
using the analog write command red pin blah 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 and go through there and it'll turn it on as per our calculations if you don't like the way your colors are coming out feel free to mess with the code okay that's it there's a link to the code down below all right the code has been uploaded and i have some color samples for us to look at uh, the first one we're going to look at is red <laughs> oh excuse me so i put red over there and we get a mostly red light next up is green a verde we put the green over there we get a mostly green light finally we have yellow put that over there and we get a kind of yellow light it ain't real good but it's kind of yellow and then we have blue and we get a very nice blue light now if we go white I see no change whatsoever it doesn't know white I mean it gets a little brighter that's all same with black we don't get much out of black but it does seem to know red pretty well green and the blue but it has definitely definitely has trouble with yellow it just gives me a kind of a greenish color it certainly works better than this crappy chinesium sensor so definitely better i'll put a link to this down below along with the code that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe wish me luck i uh, should be gambling by the time you watch this video big thanks to all my patrons especially the new patrons that came on board uh means a lot to me uh someone asked me i believe it was uh my uh canuck friend uh, digger d if they wanted to contribute but uh didn't want to do patreon there's now a link down below to a paypal.me slash learn electronics you can send a one-time paypal donation if you want to help support the channel that's it i'm out peace